Hey everybody, this is PJ with the High Mountain Homestead. Today I'm going to be showing you all about this new chicken brooder concept that has cut down on chicks being scared. It's made cleaning a lot easier. It's a lot easier to take care of for us and on our property. And my favorite thing is we're making use of what we already have. So if you're looking for a new chicken brooder concept, stick around. I think, uh, I think you'll be able to take away some principles from what we've done here. Okay, first benefit of this chicken brooder concept is location. So this is just this weird kind of kid's playhouse that was on our property when we moved here. And we have always debated, do we rip it down? Do we keep it up? Um, if we keep it up, what are we gonna use it for? And we finally found a solution for that. So the benefit of using the structure is, hey, we're using what we already have, which I love, but it's not a high traffic area. Before, we had our chickens in basically like our enclosed deck, like a sunroom, and the kids would always walk by that when we'd go outside, they'd wanna play with the chicks, which you think would be fun, but it gets old really fast. The chicks kinda of get traumatized by the kids always wanting to pick them up and stuff, so it's kinda of nice to have the chicks out here. So this is the brooder house. When we moved in here, this bench was already there. And so really we just kind of slapped this apparatus on there. So today is actually moving day for these chicks. Um, if you stick around or, or subscribe to the channel, you'll be able to see the next video, which is how to move chicks um, in between their brooder life and what happens in between their brooder life to being integrated with the rest of the flock. So make sure you subscribe so you can catch that video because that's a problem that most uh, chicken owners have to deal with. But that's why we only have three here. I just kind of left these three in and forgot. Oh, no, I didn't shoot this video yet. Um, so I left these three in here. Um, but there were 16 in here before. We really like the fact that this is elevated off the ground a little bit because chickens have this defense mechanism where they get spooked out by anything that comes above them. Probably it has to do with, you know, chicken hawks grabbing them or predators from the sky. And so if you can elevate your brooder a little bit, it really, really helps them not get so spooked when, uh, when you come by to change their food and water. Okay, cleanup is incredibly easy. Oh my gosh. Uh, we built this door right here. Basically, you just uh, move that piece of plywood and get a broom, literally, and a bucket right there sweep out all the bedding and then you just walk right out here bam compost boxes could not be easier than that and speaking of the bedding uh, we just save all of our junk mail and newspapers some paper is not suitable for this but the paper that is suitable just save it and shred it we just found a shredder online and uh, cost us like 20 bucks and now we never have to buy bedding so totally recommend that route plus it composts very easily so these girls have been in here a month um, they're month old chicks and the bedding I think we've uh, replaced it not replaced it added to it twice so that's three kind of fresh sets of bedding that they've had I would say the only downside to this bedding is Right now it's kind of matted down, but when you put it in, it's very puffed up. And when they're just little chicks, they can have a hard time traversing it. But it was actually kind of nice. We had one of these girls had spraddle foot. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically where their feet just bow out. On our first batch of chicks, we actually had a chick that couldn't recover. And, uh, and we had to euthanize it. <clears throat> but we had one of these chicks that had spraddle foot. And I think this rough terrain really kind of helped her strengthen that foot and so we didn't have to put anyone down which has been really really cool 16 for 16 right that's what you want to see the other nice thing about having this outside is um, you know we can keep their food right here um, water we still got to run back and forth again there's no food in here because right after I stop filming this I'm just gonna put them in that tractor um, outside but uh, but yeah this has been a really sweet setup Okay, so when do the chicks actually move out? I recommend three to four weeks. Um, 
And again, I'm going to do another video that kind of goes into that more in depth. And that's really what I'm going to be doing right after this. So stay tuned to that. Um, I'll put a link in here once I have that video uh, live so you can see how that's done. But basically between three and four weeks is a good time to move them out. Uh, they can basically withstand freezing temperature at that point, which is crazy. But all you want is these little feathers to come in. They're hiding right now. Uh, but yeah, they're totally good to go outside. They don't need that lamp anymore. But that lamp setup is so nice. We just have that little extension cord that just runs to an outlet out here on one of our out properties and really, really easy to work with. Hey, hopefully this uh, kind of inspired you to kind of break the mold of a traditional chick brooder. Um, not everyone has a creepy children's playhouse in their backyard, uh, but you can totally do do what you want to do. Like there's there's plenty of options with a chicken brooder. I thought it had to be one way, and uh, after our first batch, we started exploring, and we're really really happy with this. It makes chick brooding hardly even a chore. They're so out of the way. Uh, they don't get as skittish, which is nice. Uh, really easy to, to feed and handle out here. Nobody has to bend down too far. Cleanup is a breeze. Uh, I highly recommend exploring your own options, making something unique work for you. So hey, thank you again for watching the video. If you liked it, please like it on YouTube. That helps. Please subscribe also. Um, we've got tons of videos on chicks and chickens, eggs, brooders, hen houses, layer boxes, all that stuff and more to come. Um, we also do sheep, rabbits, gardening, composting, all that fun stuff here at the High Mountain Homestead. So hit the subscribe button so I can see you on the next video. Until that time, thanks for stopping by.